Okay, we're back in Fallout 4 because you guys are actually enjoying my little settlement guides and stuff. What are we talking about today? We're talking about defense. So a lot of people were like, how do you properly defend your home? Yeah, you know, using sentries and stuff like that. Uh, I took a little bit of time doing it because I wanted to get my science up so I could show off the laser turrets. But I actually needed to get a couple XP points and it's taking a bit long. I'm 29 right now, level. Uh, so I didn't. it's been taking a while because I also don't really have any side quests left and stuff like that. So we're talking about turrets, uh, generally defense. I also have the artillery piece. So to get this particular defensive item, which I don't have anybody matting yet because I've been trying to get all my stores and everything done like that, and some food produce, uh, you basically continue along the path that uh, the Preston Minuteman guy here. He will eventually give you a quest where you storm a castle, kill a giant crab, and then you will unlock artillery, and artillery is very powerful. You get artillery smoke to use. Just something I thought I'd talk about. So generally when you're coming to defense in Fallout 4, at least in regards to your settlements, and I'm going to show this main settlement, Sanctuary, which everyone has, and the other settlement too, I think it's believed it's Ten Pines, and how I do for defense there. So the simplest and easiest thing are guard posts. I don't have anybody on this guard post because again, you know, I'm working on other things. So this will add basic defense, it's cheap, it's easy, the materials are simple. And generally, I gotta say when it comes to defense in this game, your AI do most of the work. There's, the, I've only had one wave of assaults, and it hit like every single settlement I had at once for some reason. One of them was super mutants, one of them was just raiders, but they're really rare occurrences, so they don't come around that often. And especially if you have a good defense, they won't bother you much. So the guard posts are good, you know, they give them a basic defense. And I think they're less prone to come to, like a raider assault and stuff, if you have a defense set up. And when you come and actually battle for your defenses, you don't do a lot of work. You're more or less just there in order to watch the event. People will sort of die if you're not there, but if you are there, and you don't even have to shoot. You can shoot like a bull or two if you want. You just watch, and uh, the amount of people you have just handles it. I think this was back when I had about eight settlers here. And we just, you know, they destroyed super mutants. They didn't even stand a chance. And even with that, you only need a couple turrets or sentries. And it'll just, you know, defend the city well. So when you're coming to Sanctuary, you got to remember your certain points of where people are coming from. The raiders attack from there and over that way towards the bridge area where the water is. So, you know, that's where they're coming from. And my main thought when I originally set up the design here was to funnel them along the main street. So they never made it past, I want to say, that yellow house there. And over there, they never really made it past where the new treehouse is. I love the treehouse. So from there, I have sentries basically aligned on the streets. Now, these are pretty easy to make, and I have a lot of them. Then I place them around further because, you know, now I have a whole market area. So that's why I have a turret there. So the first thing is a guard post. You get this crappy one, but look, it takes literally nothing to make. And so does this one. These are more for aesthetics and design. Or if you're working on a downtown settlement, which I do have one of, they're good for walls. So from what I can make is like a heavy machine gun turret and you know just a standard one. And these kind of machine gun turrets are ones that you should have come across many times across the campaign. So you generally know how they work. When looking at other things we have laser turrets but this one requires a science and a believe a six level of intelligence which I didn't have because I'm all about that charisma. And then we have other vari variations. We have a shotgun turret you know obviously more closer range and we have a spotlight. So the spotlight really does not do anything. It's cool. I did it over here just because I wanted to test the electricity. That's why I created it. It's cool and at night it, you know, it creates a focus and it makes it easier to see things, but other than that, they're really useless as far as defense goes. We also have the heavy laser turret, and again, you need to get your ranks up and your skills and perks in these categories if you want these certain tools. Other than that, you really don't need it. You're not going to get anything that attacks you about this. Here's the missile turret, you know, shoots missiles. But again, you're not getting attacked by like an Armageddon of creatures or something. It really depends on your area that you're in in the Commonwealth, but you're just not. So you really only need heavy turrets. Or not heavy turrets, regular machine gun turrets. That's all you need. Just place a bunch of them. It takes steel, circuitry, gear, and oil. And not a lot of it. They're really simple to make. If you accidentally destroy them, they give you like just steel, which is stupid, but all the same. And when you're defending your area, you want to build a perimeter, or at least build it around where your people are. 
because they're going to assist the people. The people are going to be the ones that are actually defending your property, whereas the turrets are going to be offering support and finishing off enemies. We also have defenses such as Tesla arcs, radiation emitters, and flamethrower traps. Personally, I don't think you need to use any of these. They're more for hilarity or, you know, just cool little effects. They're just not necessary. I'm sorry. You you know, you may find them personally useful. I don't get the necessity. The main thing you need is just these machine gun turrets and just like a couple of them. I don't know how many I actually have in the area, but they're along, you know, along the streets and around my basically where people are as a support area. You can also kind of equip your people and give them weapons and stuff and make them stronger, but you know, not necessary. So I also want to show off another area, and again, if you guys have questions about this, let me know and I'll try my best to answer and try to give concise information. So we're going to travel over to Sunshine Tidings Co-op, which is my other settlement that's doing quite well. And we're going to take a look at what we have over there. Alright, now that we've arrived in this area, which we just traveled to, uh, basically here we have the same sort of defense going on. We have a couple sentries on the outside of where the main group of people are. Uh, this time I've elected to put up a post with a guy just kind of watching. When the raiders attacked on this one, we actually didn't get mutants, they came from the trees, and nothing from the surrounding area. So that was good, and you just, from there I learned and I just built, you know, an area around it. Again, once more, generally the people took care of everything, so the sentries really didn't have to do much. I also wanted to put some closer sentries just in case, you know, some enemies made it further along than the other ones. And as you can see, I've actually been growing up my areas and stuff, and I've been creating more routes of transportation and trading between the various groups, you know. So while this one doesn't have as much defense as Sanctuary, it still has a pretty high rating, and it generally just takes care of itself. Again, if you get attacked, you just kind of need to show up. You want to keep the defense up high enough, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, generally you won't get assaulted by anything, just because they're too scared to come after you. And also, just so you know, you'll want to be at the place because the pit boy seems to be glitchy in regards of not actually showing proper stats in regards to water, food, and security. So you want to personally check every once in a while how every place is doing. Does it have enough beds? Does it have enough defense? And of course, for some of your defense, you're going to need power. But honestly, these machine gun turrets are stable, standard, and they work perfectly well in regards to your people. You know, just try to arm them and stuff, but they'll have weapons themselves, and it's really not a big deal. They usually handle things perfectly. If you have any questions or additional info, or you want something talked about, or another aspect of settlements, you know, assisted or given information on, let me know, and I'll uh, do something about it, because I am having a blast of settlement mode, as you can clearly see. And from Sunshine, Tidings, Co-op, that's it.